Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, may I have your autograph? A whimsical moment between God and I. May I have your autograph? I asked. And he replied, I have already given it to you. It's written upon your heart. I was an avid reader growing up and I read two or three books a week at one point. When I discovered a new author, I devoured every book they wrote. In my childish mind, I was sure that if I ever met L.M. Montgomery or C.S. Lewis, we would be kindred spirits. I imagined curling up in an easy chair and listening for hours as they shared their hearts with me. I am much more pragmatic as an adult. I probably will never meet a famous author outside of a book signing or a speaking engagement. I would probably have 20 seconds or less with the author as he or she signed a copy of their book. I would then be hurried away clutching their book to my chest. Not that I would fault the author. Book signings are exhausting events. After all, there are sometimes hundreds of people in line, each one waiting for their moment with the author. My childish daydream of spending an afternoon with my beloved authors pales in comparison with the real relationship I have with the author of the most influential book in my life. Not only did he reveal his character, love, redemption, power, and saving grace through the Bible, he wrote his word upon my heart. Nothing on earth or heaven can separate me from his loving counsel. 2 Corinthians 3, verse 2 and 3. You yourselves are our letter of recommendation written on our hearts to be known and read by all. And you show that you are a letter from Christ delivered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Isn't that awesome? God's autograph is on our hearts. And not only on our hearts, but it should be worn on our heart sleeves so that anybody seeing us or talking to us knows whose we are. Most engaged girls who are planning on taking on the name of their husband practice writing out their new name. Mrs. John Smith, Jane Smith, Ms. Smith. John and Susie Smith because they want to make sure that their signature represents the one that they love. As you go about your day today, think about that. Is the signature that you are presenting to others a good representation of the relationship you have with the one whose name you took.